and welcome everybody here in a Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Naya Agro. That's right, we have a donation deck here. That's what the DD stands for. So this is a deck donated by a viewer to try out and it looks pretty sweet. So as you can tell here, we are a Hero of Precinct 1 deck first and foremost, as you can see all of these multicolor cards. But our only other non-multicolor card to go with Hero of Precinct 1 is Cranko Tin Street Kingpin. And so this is going to be pretty interesting playing Cranko. Honestly, I have not played Cranko at all yet since War of the Spark came out. I I've like all the decks that we've played, you know, like four decks a day and everything i've never played a cranko deck so this is going to be interesting to see how this works especially in this naya shell that is just basically designed around cards that are going to be trying to uh, pump cranko's power you know top end we have heroic reinforcements and tristani that pump the power uh, we also have the same mana cost we got tajik and damri that can pump up the power for cranko and then of course we have our pump spells with Integrity and Colossus, and we even have Domri's Ambush that uh, if we get to uh, use that uh, cool little sorcery, that could help as well. So yeah, we have we have a lot of things to, to try to deal with this Cranko. So I'm, I'm pretty excited to, to attack people with the, the 10th Street Kingpin and try to make a lot of goblins. This one looks to be a pretty sweet one. We got all these honor guards against the Wild Growth Walker decks these days. A Tamik against Nissa. I think that's a pretty nice piece of tech there. Um, that's what we have. You uh, Shaper's Sanctuary um, could be a card that that honestly could be pretty decent uh, these days. It's just one mana, and you know can do a whole lot against decks that are trying to interact with you a bunch. There's less sweepers being played and more. Uh, like regular removal and more like using planeswalkers to interact with creatures and stuff like that so maybe you get to draw a lot of cards i don't know we'll uh give it a try all right let's see so i'm going to head on over to the traditional constructed queue with this being a donation deck so we're usually like playing these in this nice event here. We'll play until we can win five or lose two and see how it goes here with Niagara. Um, so there we go. A uh, few questions that I've gotten here in chat. Shekel, uh, day off was very good. Yeah, definitely had, had a good time. Um, I I was shown a game called Slay the Spire, and I was playing that a lot yesterday, and that was a whole lot of fun on the Switch. A deck-building game. Um, Gabriel asks, what do you think is better for climbing Gruul or Bant Arcbow? And I would probably say... I would, I would be more confident in Bant Arcbow myself. Now different people's play styles are different and everything like that and I, I could certainly see uh, somebody preferring Gruul to Bant uh, for the Arc Bow decks but for myself um, I would prefer Bant there um, well it's going to be a little difficult to get through with this Cranko I mean well we're going to be attacking and doing the whole Colossus and Integrity and all that kind of stuff, I suppose. Hey, Hexbomb, good evening. You have like 400 hours in Slay the Spire? Dang. Yeah, it was, it was pretty sweet. I was very impressed with it. You know, I've played uh, three game, four games now. Of it. All right, so, um, you know, we have just a 2-2 two, two and a 2-3, so 4-5. Worth of power and toughness. This gets our Cranko up to 5-4. Uh, so do we want a Colossus plus Ambush or Integrity? 
I tried out all three classes, or at least the first three classes. I don't remember the names of them. The red one, the green one, the blue one. I didn't do very good with the blue one. Oh, that's right. He gets the counter from just attacking. Good good call there. So two, three. Okay, good call. Let's just do this thing then. But I'm doing this... You know, usually you do that trick during combat. Usually. But you want it to be able to trigger there. I'm gonna kind of save these. I could I could attack with the 10th District Legionnaire and be able to pump it up as well, with like the integrity. All right. Whenever a creature you control dies, sack Johnny's last stand and make a four-four. Oh, thank you, thank you. I didn't I did not bring up Deckmaster. I forgot to do that. Thanks for the reminder there. So just put a counter on it, then the creature deals damage. Yeah. Oh wait. But then they just make a 4-4. Four, four. I hate this Domri's ambush is a sorcery. Oh hey, way to go, Hexbomb, way to get into Mythic. Good job. Yeah, so this will be a 3-4. Hmm. Blah, blah, blah. I just don't really like that. I don't really like killing one of these crappy things to give them a 4-4. Four, four. So if I just integrity, we're going to a five six. All right, let me. I'll just play this. Yes, I understand the Krenko gets the plus one when he attacks. Hey Vitellius, it's going good. Yolen, good evening. All right, so our opponent's just kind of playing some green and white cards. So I don't think any of these sideboard cards are necessarily for green and white cards. So I'm gonna keep my hand, keep my deck the same. Correct, Vitellius. Yep, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try out the that mod yeah the the modified list uh, or the yeah the updated list after we played your donation deck for Golgari Citadel five days ago or so. Um, the one that at, at the end of the the uh, stream, how we're talking about the changes, we're gonna try out those changes today and see how it goes. All right, we don't really have anything going on right now. Cool, you've been liking the changes personally? Good, good. Hey, Rackle Guru, good evening. If this thing doesn't have a fender, oh, if it's enchanted, it can attack as though it didn't have defender. Huh. I've seen that card a lot. I don't think I've ever seen that card actually enchanted. I didn't even know, you know, just always th just thought of it as a 2-3 defender.
Alright, so we're going to go down to five here. But hopefully Tristani can help us stabilize. Cast an aura spell, gain a dino. Oh, the targets. Only ones that target the druid. Yeah, it could be another could be some kind of aura that gives their creature flying and we die. We'll kind of just see what happens here. Creatures have vigilance too. It's annoying. They still have four blockers. I'm expecting us to be able to win this. Here, we'll see how our opponent blocks. I can't Yeah. Yeah, they can't they can't do any blocks that save them. That block won't save him. Alright, Colossus. Still winning games. Collision Colossus. It's a good one. Alright, we are 1 0. GG's. Yeah, I know. I was not really expecting the Novice Knight History Benalius energy there either. I was like, oh, I guess, yeah, I guess that makes sense. The Novice Knight's getting pumped up by History Benalia. <laughs> All right, let's see what we get paired up against now. Got a couple Krenkos. Our deck woke up on the wrong side of the morning. Or sorry, wrong side of the bed this morning. <laughs> yeah. So it looks pretty cranky. So Gateway Plaza this is probably like four color or five color. It's probably five color. Uh, Niv Mizzet Reborn. Either that or Planeswalkers. I think I never misery born. Hmm. Maybe it's our opponent who's cranky after seeing Cranko. So we'll come in against a potential five color. Niv Mizzet Reborn deck. 
Shaper Sanctuary. will come out. Yeah, Takali does stop the Misery Born's trigger. Still a big flyer. We're gonna try just playing two Sanctuaries over two Domri's Ambushes. And kind of see what happens. The green black land, red white land discovery deck. I don't I don't even know what's going on, to be honest. Hmm. Sundays are the day of rest and leisure. Kind of having a nice, easy Sunday here. That's what we got so far. Well, I, I'm glad we have Cranko. That card has caused our opponent to scoop whenever we played it, so it's probably pretty good. The problem with Dom Domri's Ambush being your removal spell, of course, is you don't actually get to use it on turn at two to do anything. Light to the bin. Just straight to the bin. I'll right, make seven one ones. So not be a bad time for heroic reinforcements. Submerged Boneyard. It's one of my favorite lands to say. Attack. Cranko's pretty sweet. How will I ever get you back? I guess I'll have to attack. Alright, they're back. Alright, so Sultai stuff means Takatli Honor Guard getting on in here. Alright, so Honor Guards are definitely in. Um... Yeah, Krenko's legendary. 
<laughs> my new commander. <laughs> no, our opponent didn't have the mana. That they were they were missing land like they missed like a land drop and stuff. So with that finality, they. Uh... Um, but yeah, I guess they could have they they definitely could have blocked better if they knew that they had finality. That's a good point because they could have just blocked the Krenko, like double blocked Krenko, let the other things hit them. I guess that that's your point there, Prepcon. Yeah, that's a good point. Good point. Yeah, so if, if they knew they're going to be playing finality, they could have done a better job. So yeah, that that does kind of go towards top decking out. I think I'm just going to replace Tenth District Legionnaire or Tajik. One of those two for, with the Honor Guard. All right, this is what we're going with. Yeah, you just got Tajik. Yeah, like, like getting rid of Tajik, especially on the draw against a creature heavy deck. I want to get rid of a. I want a little bit more removal to lava coils, and yeah, like ex I'm kind of expecting this game to go a little longer. And Immortal Sun could do some work for us. In that case. Alright, we're any lands. Good no wild growth walker, that's a good sign. Cast down does not kill Krenko. Contempt doesn't kill Krenko either. And playing a Domri doesn't, you know, obviously doesn't make any sense with the Jade Light being there. So Domri is just gain for life. So if we're drawing the land next turn, I don't want to kill Hostage Taker if we're drawing land next turn. I'd rather intervention the Jade Light Ranger. I guess it's the safest just to make sure to kill Hostage Taker. I don't know, I kind of like them spending their whole turn playing this Cranko and then me getting it back. Yeah, he'll play the Cranko and I'll, I'll get it back with Tristani. I'm going to do that. Even if my opponent spends one turn. Even if we don't get the land and they spend one turn attacking with the Cranko, it's just going to be a bigger Cranko whenever we take it. Whenever we get it back, they get, what, you know, like one token. But that 4 3, getting that out of there, is really nice. Hmm. Makes sense. Do 
Rolls off a post notes. <laughs> Have at it, boys. <laughs> hey, over nine. It doesn't always work out how you want. Glad to be here. Thanks for stopping by. All right, so our Domri did its thing, just kind of gained us some life. Fortunately, couldn't do any anything more than that. So at least they're not going to hostage take a a token. Oh, this is tough. Do I want to Col Colossus first and then attack? Do I want to attack first and then Colossus after blocks? Yeah, it does. I'm going to do this first because of the Immortal Sun being able to pump up these seven tokens. Perfect, yes. Let me get this hostage shaker back. All right. That thing that targets Tristani. So that's three. We get to do seven. Four, five, six, seven. Do they just have finality? Well, they got to just have finality, don't they? I guess I shouldn't play this Cranko because of finality. Alright, so finality or no? Yes. Oh, I wish you could see your face when I'm beating you. Mortal Sun came down just a little. Too late to finish that one up. That's all right. But yeah, Domri still getting. We're still getting the plus one 
The tick up from Domri, yep. So they got they got Krasis, I got Immortal Sun. I mean this one's pretty pretty close. You know, they get that those three extra cards and a really big flyer. I start getting two cards a turn. Um It's really close. We'll see what they what they get from the crisis. Certainly hoping they didn't have that other finality because obviously they were very dead if they did not have another finality, but they did. So we're playing on here. All right, good job, son. I've lost so much already. I won't lose more. Good job, son. This Colossus card is pretty good. Make nine three twos with your nine seven trample creature. Man, making I didn't realize that whenever Cranko attacks, you make nine three twos. That's a really strong card. <laughs> At first, I was like, "Oh no, Viv's gonna kill Sun." Then I was like, ah, no. All right, nine three twos, taking it down. Pack. All right, we are three and zero. Oh. With our Naya Cranko deck, we should probably just call this this deck Naya Cranko instead of Naya Aggro. Cranky Naya. The Cap with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much, Cap. Welcome to the channel. Hope you're enjoying all those awesome emotes. That resub there. Um, hand doesn't really do stuff. Hmm. Hand doesn't really do stuff either. We got our best two drop. Uh, that's a spell, I suppose. Hey, Gatsby! Getting that tier three sub in again. You are amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, there, Cap says, stay, came for the jank, stayed for the community. Ah, Thanks, Cap. Is this mono blue? Nah, Drakes. That's even worse, because Drakes have a lot of removal spells. Whew, okay, good. Hero's not dead yet. Because <laughs> Hero dies here, I'd, I certainly die. Ooh. We're getting cranky. I don't, I'm not very confident that my creatures are going to survive, but that would be nice if they did. I could, you know, obviously I could wait a turn and have the integrity be able to protect Cranko. It's all good. Maximize velocity. Oh 
Attack. Crank it up. <laughs> I like that goblin on the left who's just like dumping treasures all over himself or herself themselves I guess <laughs> they have three instants it says this is only doing three Dang, couldn't finish that up with anything. Yeah, I'm sure I'll play Dredge again soon. Um, yeah, I'm sure I'll play it this week sometime. I don't know exactly when. I don't have any schedule too much. Yeah, Gatsby had a lot of fun. Yeah, I sure did. Uh, boot left here about two hours ago now. Um, you know, he had work again tonight. But yeah, we beat uh, Metroid Prime for the GameCube. And almost beat Super Monkey Ball 2. We got through like 80, like 82 of the levels. I just can't finish this one off. And then also, he showed me Slay the Spire, and so played some Slay the Spire. So that was our uh, day off yesterday. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, I'd, I never, you know, never heard of Slay the Spire before, but yeah, that that game was a lot of fun. I got it now on my Switch, and I'll have to play that one some more I tried you know basically went I went with two runs with the first character you get and then one run with each of the other two characters at least I only have three characters right now the first three if there are more than three This this song, I just, uh, this is like a newer song to the playlist here. I heard it for the first time like a couple of weeks ago. This is Kiefer Sutherland. Like that actor on 24. And it's pretty good. I worked before streaming Magic Soul Farmer. I used to be a high school teacher. Well, we came close to killing our opponent. We got him down to one, but... Our four spell hand couldn't, couldn't finish it off. Certainly want these lava coils. Shaper Sanctuary doesn't seem so bad either. Don't have a lot of things that kill drakes though. I guess we're just gonna have to be ag aggressive. Hmm. 
Hmm. I don't think this is necessarily the matchup for Krenko. I take out two Tajiks and one Cranko. Um, no, teachers don't make very much money in the US. I mean, I'm, I'm making less as a, a streamer full-time than I was as a teacher. I made more as a teacher, but, um, you know, I like my life here. Uh, no stress of, you know, being a streamer and everything. It's, it's enjoyable. Hey, Ishikawa. Ishikawa. Good evening. <laughs> Not the matchup for Cranko? No such thing. This Terry Mander. Probably gonna get me again. Terry Mander, PhD. <laughs> Is that thing a pirate? No. Attack. Squirrel Spellbreaker card is pretty good. It's not a bad one. At least. My favorite deck right now? My favorite deck is probably Bant, Ar Bant Arcbow. That's probably my favorite deck. I'm... Um, I don't always have... Like... Favorites and everything. I, I play so many decks and I, I... I usually appreciate decks for what they are, what they do. All that kind of s stuff. I don't. I don't usually have like favorites too much. But if I had to choose one, I think that's what I would choose. Um, real close to that, I also really like the Teamer Hydra deck that we're going to be playing later today, as well. Hey, fishies! Thanks for that tier two sub again. You are amazing. Welcome back. Getting all these resubs in here today. Thanks, everybody. All right, got game two. Anything you want to change? So they, so we saw a fiery cannonade. Theory, fiery cannonade.
I guess I have four collisions in my deck. That card's got to be good in this matchup. I'm going to take out another Krenko for the Tajik, actually. I'm going to go with two Tajiks. Because Fiery Cannon, like, Tajik can prevent the damage to all my creatures from Fiery Cannonade, and Krenko def definitely works against Cannonade because we make a bunch of 1 1s and they kill them all. All right, we got a nice Boros Curve here. It's a soldier with a sword, soldier with a sword, soldier with a sword. I think we got a game plan. Our opponent's game plan looks a little fishy, though. Not sure what they have up their sleeve. <laughs> yeah, people say that Boros are one note. Our opponent does use a, a decent amount of spells, but I still don't really like Cinder Vines. I think the Drakes can outrace Cinder Vines, um, and especially on the draw. You know, I'd rather just kind of curve out, you know, try to curve out like this, at least, than just play a Cinder Vines. Like the thing with Cinder Vines, is it is it can be okay, like you know, whenever you like turn two. It can be it can be just fine. Your opponent has a lot of spells, but it's a horrible top deck. You know, drawing it later because there's no targets for it. That's just. A... And then if you do have it in your opening hand, then you have other like two drops. Then you're like kind of forced to playing the Cinder Vines first because it's horrible later on. Sword time. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I think I was going to heroic intervention or reinforcements here because the next turn, Domri, I could Domri plus uh, add mana and then play Spellbreaker. So I could double spell there. So I was just going to play the reinforcements. Well, this has been a fast league. This is a 4 0. Oh. That is right. Sorry, Trapped. We are on the final boss. Love seeing all those final boss emotes in chat. Let's get those out there. Get our final boss playlist up. And here we go. Yeah, this this Nihilus has been doing its thing. Um, to be fair, our first two matches weren't much. Like our second opponent didn't do anything. Like we we we, you know, like they just basically, like they didn't do anything. Um, and then our first opponent was playing a starter deck. So we've kind of only played two matches. But it's it's uh it's played pretty well. This Krango card has been pretty sweet and this has been a a fun deck to play too. Hey Real Tell Star. And hey Matthew. Dragon Skull Summit. Well, let's play the soldier with the sword. Not really wearing armor like this soldier is. 
Ooh. Paste. Probably Gruel Telstar. Yeah, Majo Majocha. Same. Blue cards in standard are quite, quite strong. There's a lot of just really good quality blue cards. I guess I hadn't really counted out whether heroic reinforcements would have actually killed our opponent from there. Like, so far, so this would have done two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty, fifteen, sixteen. Yeah, this would have done sixteen damage. Uh, with the blocker, this would have done twelve damage. So just while they're tapped out, I'll do the do the ambush that also puts a counter on my creature. Oh, I should just put the counter on the Tajik and then mentor it onto the hero. Could have just done that. Oh well. Riggle, 1999. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for that sub there. I really do appreciate that support, Riggle. Thank you so much. Maybe Rigel. So Boros Agro, or sorry, so Rakdos Agro is what we're playing against. So Clarion and Coil. Kind of feel like those are the cards that we should be playing. Not even sure about Clarion, honestly. For this specific matchup, I cut two Tajiks and a Domri. No, just three Tajiks. Oh, no, they're playing a bunch of burn stuff. Two Tajiks and a Domri. For the three coils and just kind of go with this. No, let's play a Clarion. All right, one Tajik out with Clarion. No, I don't want Clarion. I want to see more of their deck before I play a Clarion. We only saw two cards. Yeah, Scooter, uh, good question. A question was how long you were you streaming before you started getting enough viewers so you had interaction with your chat for the majority of stream? Um, yeah. Honestly, I've I've been very fortunate with streaming. It's it's been like that since my very first stream, uh, because I started traveling to tournaments and playing a lot of Magic and um, became uh, somewhat well known that way. I don't know, you know, relatively well known that way before I started streaming. And so ever since I started streaming, I've always had a couple hundred viewers. At, you know, at the least, like, you know, you're not even in the beginning, so. Honestly, I was very fortunate like that. Five card hands are risky. This one's just as risky. But, you know, like, these are some cards that can certainly win. If we get fortunate here. Hey, what's up, Derek? This hand has a lot of downside. We may just do nothing here. Thanks, I reset there, Dirk. Hmm. Well, I tried this hand being on the draw with a scry. All right, so we've seen more of their decks, so they're 
This does seem like a, a good Clarion deck to face. Any cards from Kaladesh block that you hope get reprinted in M20 is the question. Do not want Domri. I can't think of a single one for that answer. I can't think of any cards and to be to be honest, I'll be surprised if any cards from Kaladesh block do get reprinted. I would say that the chance of any individual card from Kaladesh block being reprinted is in M20 is probably under like 5%. Thanks, DMG. Thank you so much for that support there. I really do appreciate that. Thanks for that sub there. Because, um, yeah, none of the energy... No energy stuff's going to be reprinted, of course. A braid was Amonkhet block, not Kaladesh. Huh. What else do I want? All right. So, what else do I want here? Honor guard doing anything? No. Okay. Anything from just the the last rotation? So, almond cap block, as well. Deck, what are you doing to us? And this is just like last time. So I'm going to need two lands. I, I mean, I love Lava Coil. Absolutely, you know, that, this is a great card in the matchup. Uh, Alright, well. Not green mana. We can at least cast two cards in our hand. Of course, the Legionnaire can't get through the Footlight Fiend. The Footlight Fiend would trade with it. Looks like we're going to be four and one here. One landers don't win games too often. I'm at least glad that I boarded out one of the Colossuses. <laughs> Our mana base has uh, just the, all 24 of the Naya dual lands, so we have 16 of each color source. That's what this, this mana base has. Of 
I'm gonna be coiling the Dreadhorde Butcher. No, we're dead. Drew all three Colossuses in our deck. No green mana. Alright, final boss. Round two. We saved our extra life, so we still have our we still had our extra life. So here we go, round two. Song's too sad. Need a new song. Okay. As you can see up here, I just got three decks for today. Going to have a little bit of a shorter stream today. Um, so we're going to be trying Golgari Citadel up next after here, and then playing some Teamer Hydra in ranked after that. The Cranko has been actually been really impressive for us so far. I've really liked the card. This is my first time playing Cranko, having a, having any experience with the card, but yeah, I've been really liking it. <laughs> hey Todd, this Boros deck seems pretty cool, but have you thought about making it Naya? Good idea. Let's try making it Naya. And this is where we are definitely drawing another land. We're not going to get stuck on two lands. We're going to be able to play our Cranko. <laughs> Maybe it's better to go with Tajik first. Where Tajik can protect Cranko. Or we can also draw another land and be able to go Cranko and then have integrity for it. Alright, we'll just keep trading one for one every turn while we deal three damage. We do three damage, then trade with a card. Then we do three damage, trade with a card. I'll take that. The world yields to all, not oppression. Land. Specifically green source. Green source. Green source. Green source. Hooray! So I, I could collision the, the Drake, but then I don't make as many 1-1s. One so I think I want a Colossus and then Ambush. But then I guess I make a bunch of 1-1s. One hmm. <clears throat> Maybe that's not as good. Actually, I'm gonna. I'm actually not gonna do that. So I'm going to, not auto order triggered abilities first. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go just hero precinct one collision actually. And then let's let's kill the Sahili. And then yes. Do it like this. Let's mentor first. And then that. We live to fight another day. Okay. All right. So we just played against Drake's a little bit ago. We want these coils. Um, you just go... The Teamer Hydra deck just goes bigger than opponents. You don't need too much removal. I mean, it has Domri. It has a little bit of removal. And then there's removal on the sideboard. Um... Let's see. So last time I took out two Krankos and a Tajik. We're going to do that again. Alright, we could use a shock land. Nope. Let's try that again. We could use a shock land. Nope. Alright, so heal is going to be kind of a problem. One Man Cold with a Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel, One Man Cold. Thank you so much for that support there. I really appreciate that. Hope you're having an awesome weekend. Alright, so Healy's out of here. They're down to three cards. We also have three cards as well. Crackling Drake's good. That takes a removal spell and draws a card. I think I just want to make a 4-4 Spellbreaker so that it can attack through a Crackling Drake. Our opponent could have had a Spell Pierce there uh, for how it kind of stopped a little bit with me casting the Lava Coil. It could have been a Spell Pierce or, or it could have just been that Opt. We don't really know. Or a dive down, I guess. Oh, there. This is a rekindling, or this is an arc light phoenix deck.
Phoenix is really good. That's going to keep coming back. <laughs> You're welcome, Lord Merlin. It's the best way to get your cards for standard if you're just starting out on Arena. If you want to try to get like an entire collection of different sets and everything, playing limited is like, you know, buying, of course, buying the, the $100 gem pack uh, gets you the, the best value for your gems. Uh, of course, you get the most gems per dollar with that pack. But if you want to like try to get all of the cards in War of the Spark, for example, playing limited in with War of the Spark sealed and drafting, and in particular, I like I like to recommend sealed um, is your best way to do that. But if you want specific standard decks from all sorts of different sets and everything, then uh, and you don't want to take the time to play to play limited, uh, then of course, uh, just buying the packs is the way to go. Thing is, those are really your only two options. It's going to be kind of a difficult one to finish out. Sorry. I love a good challenge. This should be fun. Well, the uh, kind of good part about Sahili is oh well, never mind. I was gonna say it's unlikely that they'll just be able to cast three spells to be able to get Phoenix back, but just nope, never mind. All right, so do we want Cinder Vines on the play? Especially with this being a Phoenix stack. Kind of liking that. Not sure if we really need Tristani, how expensive it is. Yeah, ambush. Ambush can go, but I don't know. You need to be able to kill like all the crackling drakes, and we only have three coils. I think I want to cut Tristani. I'm going to try Sanctuary too. I want to try just both of these enchantments. Sanctuary and Cinder Vines. No, I haven't played it one speed. I haven't played it yet. <laughs> and of course we draw the, the ambush. The, the one last one. Hey, Bert. 23 months in a row with that sub there. Thank you so much. For that support there, Bert. That's our 10th sub of the day, so we're gonna go crack a pack after this league. And conveniently, we just got a pack.
And no luck gaming. Hmm. Thanks for that resub there. So, this is kind of a problem. I'm keeping it. <clears throat> I was going to say, the problem is I don't really have... You know, this, if this Legionnaire gets killed here, I don't really have creatures anymore. I don't have threats, but I guess the Cinder Vines is just a threat. That's all it is. And like we we need to draw threats, right? And like that's what that's what Cinder Vines is, is a threat. Two more lands after the Cinder Vines. Not so good for us. <laughs> yeah, this is my first time trying Cinder Vines against Drake, so I'd never brought it in before. A lot of people tell me to try it and bring it in, and so we did it, but, you know, the plan here was to follow the Cinder Vines with other threats. I don't know, the three lands in a row afterwards. Uh, it's not really Cinder Vines' fault, it's these these cards that don't do anything also these lands I mean this Domery's ambush is no better <laughs> things no better either well then good game So try something different there with <clears throat> um, trying out Cinder Vines. I feel like we're going to need a lot, you know, a lot more pressure with that card than uh, what we had with, you know, zero pressure. And it didn't help that uh, my opponent just was able to play four straight creatures. It was not didn't really help. <laughs> Well, we're cracking this pack open, though, because we got to that sub-goal a little bit ago. Um, let's try another one. We got both of these packs here. I unfortunately have all the rares, as we can see here, so I'm only getting gems for the rares. I still need a lot of mythics from that set, so we were just hoping to open up mythics. All right, anyway, um, so our Naya aggro deck. Let me get this back here again. Um... There we go. So Naya Aggro, uh, you know, our Cranko deck, it was fun to play. Cranko was definitely really fun. We saw basically all of our losses were, um, oh man, just excellent click that Tristani, gotta do this again. Okay, it worked. Basically all of our locks, losses were because of man, like mana, either just drawing, like, you know, having to mulligan and get one landers and, you know, not getting there at all, or... You know, like that last game where, you know, we drew nine, ten lands, whatever it was. Um, that was really our, our problems with the deck. Uh, whenever we were sitting in, like, the three to six land range, our deck was doing really well. Um, yeah, I liked the Immortal Sun in the deck. It, it won us a game against Sultai. So, yeah, I liked I liked having that card in there. That one was pretty nice there. Kind of see the the reason for all these sideboard cards, and there's none that I that I really dislike too much. Uh, 
It's possible Cindervine just isn't really necessary these days with like Wilderness Reclamation not really being around. Um, but it is it is a multicolor card for Hero as well, so I don't I don't dislike it at all. Uh, we didn't get to draw the Shaper Sanctuaries. That's a card that kind of wanted to play here recently, but I haven't put it in any deck. But I've certainly considered it in some different decks, and so yeah, I was interested to try that one out. Didn't get to uh, draw it at all. Uh, skip. Scout says, what about going more aggro, cutting the curve to three or four mana, and cutting three lands? I think that's a horrible, horrible idea. I don't like 21 land, three color decks. Every 21 land, three color deck I've ever played, the mana just doesn't work. Because with the, the fact that you need like all three colors of mana, you know, you need red, you need white, you need green, it's your deck's going to be so much less consistent than whenever you're just playing a monocolored deck. Like, so you need, you need extra lands when you're playing, um, three color decks. We saw like one game, one of our games in here, you know, we just had, you know, we had like four lands, but they were all red, white lands. And so we couldn't play, you know, four spells in our hand. So three color decks are just really, really difficult to do that. In order to do 21 land, three color, you need to have like one of the colors be, you know, kind of non-existent and you need to have some velocity through the deck. You know, you need to have things like light of the stage cards that like would, would get you through, uh, farther than just like your like regular, like first 10 cards you see, you know, cards that will get you through your, uh, deck. So a deck like this doesn't have those and also is, you know, fairly heavy on red and white and green and would not want to cut down lands at all i think with a deck like this like 23 lands is is doable but i'm very scared of 22 and would not want to like no interest in 21 scared of 22 and 23 is doable there for a three color deck um but anyway back to our deck here Cranko 10th street kingpin was a lot of fun to play really liked this one it's paired just amazingly with Colossus. Uh, Dahmer's Ambush was okay, you know, like whenever we actually got to play it. The, the problem with the Ambush, is, as we saw there, is just like if you don't have a creature, it just sits in your hand. And I really don't like that. That's why I like Thrash more, uh, you know, with Thrash Threat. I really like that card more than Dahmer's Ambush because it's an instant and you can just play it as you can just play the threat part whenever you don't have the creatures. However,. Putting a 1-1 counter on Krenko is quite valuable. So I understand having Domri's Ambush in this deck with Krenko, because that extra counter is certainly valuable. There we go. Tajik was, was pretty good for us. Um, yeah, deck worked out pretty well overall. Kind of, I like the cards in here and everything. It's a pretty good deck. Um, I guess I should update the record to 4 and 2 there. Whoa. <laughs> if, we, if I can actually do that. Maybe I can't do that. <laughs> there we go. All right, so Naya Aggro here. Pretty nice. Uh, so thank you so much for this donation deck here, Sub-Zero. So yeah, you said you only board in Cinder Vines versus Burn and Nexus. That makes sense. Uh, I don't. I don't even think I wouldn't want it against Burn. Burn outraces it, but yeah, definitely Nexus. So that's the thing. It's like if if Nexus is not really around. I mean, I guess so. You, oh, you just need it for the yeah for the uh, frenzy. Yeah, never mind. I guess yeah, that makes sense. You gotta have something to kill frenzy. That's why I've been liking Brontodon more than Cinder Vines these days, because Brontodon can do some other stuff. But I understand with the Hero Precinct one playing a Cinder Vines. I can understand that. All right, that's Niagara. Um, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. That's it here for Niagara. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for another video.